Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. I'm going to do a very quick video because I wanted to join in with um, Topic Tuesday that Jodie started over on her channel, so I'll link Jodie's channel down below. And the question for this week was, how and when did your nail polish obsession start? And I think it's a bit of a funny story for me. I've never really, well, not when I was younger, I was maybe... When I was sort of 15, 16, I would wear dark, like black, kind of, I was a bit of a goth when I was a teenager. Um, so everything was black, makeup, dark makeup, and I have, obviously I've got the dark hair, so it kind of suited it. Um, my mum loves nail pot. My mum and my auntie always had, her sister always had really long nails, um, like real talons that she used to file, and she used to wear... Um, Revlon, lots of Revlon nail polish um, and she, she never had a huge collection but there was always um, yeah, a red, a neutral, um, <clears throat> you know the kind of boring sort of shades in the in the 70s and 80s and I've always had maybe up until a few years ago perhaps three or four nail polishes and some nail polish remover like hanging around the house um, you know, like a blue and a red and a kind of neutral beigey type of colour. So I've always kind of had nail polish if I wanted to wear it. And I did used to paint my toes quite a bit just because I've got hideous toenails. And it really started probably about, I'd say about four years ago now. So I'm just trying to think when I moved house, which was about three years ago I sold the house and moved to where I am now and I remember having to pack up the nail polish collection and, and box it up so I do remember I had quite a big collection at that point and that was about three years ago um, so m maybe four, four-ish years um, and it was round about that time as well um, uh, just on a kind of personal note the, the quite a few big changes were happening in my life and in my personal life and um, I also, unbeknown to me at the time, but um, started the menopause quite early. I mean, I was probably, well, maybe not too early. I was like mm, 43, 44-ish. Um, and... So the two things kind of coincided at the same time, me beginning the process of starting the menopause, but also being interested in and collecting nail polish. And I always used to really um, kind of rib my husband for collecting. He, he was a big collector of like comics and books. And I always used to be like, well, I don't understand this collecting mentality. People that collect, I just, it just doesn't, I'd, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand it, which now makes me laugh. Um, and I think what happened was I was, I was watching YouTube videos. I was part of a YouTube community that centered all around Game of Thrones and the Song of Ice and Fire book. So I used to do um, videos and podcasts and things with with other people in that community and. There was somebody who I was interacting with on um, videos and in comments who talked about Stacy Polish Ways. So, and she directed me to a video which was, I think, was about dealing with haters and trolls online, which I thought was hilarious. And um, so I subscribed to Stacy and I started watching Stacy's videos, and then that kind of opened up my world to um, YouTube nail polish community, and I started picking up nail polishes from the supermarket. I was picking up, in my weekly shopping, I was picking up two or three nail polishes from from the kind of beauty, very small beauty section. I didn't even realise there was this whole indie world and where I could buy these kind of OPI and SE brands. So it kind of took me a while to get into it um, from initially just buying nail polishes in the chemist and in, in the supermarket. <laughs> but yeah, I would say that probably about four years ago, so I was dabbling in it for a few months and then I came across the online retailers like Nail Polish Connection and Rainbow Connection for indies and it just kind of took off from there. 
and then when I started my YouTube channel, which is almost coming up to two two years in eight, eight March April, um, yeah, that was uh, just when my collection just exploded, um, and of course, I, I've, I've, last year I was sent a unbelievable amount of nail mail. Um, so I'm trying to balance my collection at the moment between de-stashing, not um, buying polish that I don't want or I don't need or I've got dupes of, but c kind of contain this, um, this the feeling of this kind of need to go out and buy all of the nail polish. So I suppose I've changed in how I approach that and I don't feel as though I have to buy everything now. Um, so I'm quite content. I still have a lot of um, sorting out in my collection to do, but I feel as though I'm getting a bit more on top of it. And hopefully this year will be the year that I'm happy with what I've got in terms of my collection at the end of the year. So what I was going to say earlier, which I went completely off topic and how it relates back to the menopause is when I finally went to the doctors to talk about um, HRT and trying to deal with this craziness that is the menopause, um, she went through some of the stranger kind of symptoms of the menopause that you wouldn't necessarily imagine. And you get, you know, the, the hot sweats and things like that, the usual stuff. But one of the, one of the things that apparently is quite common when you're going through the menopause is um, is suddenly having a new hobby or being interested in new things and different things, including collecting things, which I thought was really bizarre. So I'm completely blaming all of this and all of my massive nail polish collection on my hormones. And that's my story. <laughs> Please feel free to do a video. Um, if you're a YouTuber, leave a comment, um, get involved on Instagram. I will put the hashtag along here and um, yeah, leave me your comments down below and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.